I've had comments in my gameplays videos asking how I do the two melee trick so I'd figured I'd just make a video going through all the barricade trick and everything you need to know about barricade. So the first thing is obviously understanding how barricades work. So barricades are made up of little rectangle panels. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So now that you know that they are made up of panels, you need to understand the specific spot. Bear in mind, we are talking about how to do the two melee trick. Let's kind of have this as a little guide. So pretty much how you do the melee trick is going to the third bolt up. So one, two, three, and then coming to the bit where the first panel ends. So this is one panel. This is where it ends in this middle bit here, this line. So you come to the thir third bolt, come to the middle of where the uh, thing ends, the first panel and melee. And then you pretty much do the same here but obviously the barricade will break because i destroyed a bit but you understand what i'm saying so third bolt kind of to the middle and it will break and then you go to two bolts up to the middle and break and you can just crouch walk in easy peasy lemon squeezy the uh, what i see people doing which is a mistake is they do this like why break it at the bottom and prone free because you're at a disadvantage proning makes a lot of noise and obviously they are just gonna have an easy target on you whereas if you were to do the crouch walking one you can simply run crouch like you can just swing on somebody rather than having to go prone and you go very slow so on so on and it's the same applies to standard barricades you go to the third bolt to the middle of where the first panel would end and you melee then just two slots up to the middle melee and then you can crouch through the same applies and understanding barricades you can also do the same in the middle where you destroy six panels and then you are able to vault so when six panels are destroyed it is voltable so you could do things like this one panel two panels three panels five panels let's say let's do this one and six panels this just looks like Wait, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. And five panels. This, let's say you're like attacking. If you see this, you're just going to think, oh, my teammates probably just shot out a few slots. But actually, it's been set up to just quickly vault and, you know, do whatever you want. So that's just understanding how barricades work. Goodbye. And as I was saying with the single barricade, it takes six panels to be able to be voltable. However, that does not apply for double doors as well. You can't do a certain amount of barricades for it to be voltable. There's just no vault trick you can do. Like you can't do this and vault. And then obviously when you vault, you can only do one melee vaults with a normal barricade or a single barricade, I should say. Let me destroy that because that is so annoying. But for double barricades, it takes 10 panels to destroy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As soon as I break this, it will uh, go down since it takes 10 panels to destroy. And you can see it's not voltable. There is literally no way for you to be able to do some sort of vault trick on a double door. But just to understand, it does take 10 panels to destroy a big barricade. There are other tips where you can look right in this corner. Melee once. Melee again. It will be voltable. So if there is ever a chance where you get in a situation like that. Like when you come up to a window and you vault outside, 
I guess I could show you. Actually, I just still want a door because it's literally no different. But pretend this is the window. You know how you would do, uh, usually like, do this and then you would vault and then you're outside spraying. The enemies are going to wait for the sound cue for it to be broken twice. So they will hear this. They will then wait for the second and then they're going to know you're about to jump out any second. But if you were to do what I just showed you, where you melee the bottom, that's the first sound cue. But on the second, they can't hear anything. So maybe you could take them by surprise. I, I don't know if this is voltable, but one, two, yeah, then you can vault. I won't vault out because it would take 10 years to run back. But those are just the uh, mechanics of how a barricade works. These are the things you do not want to do. The one melee, vault only do that when it's a window if it's a door do not do that why as a defender they like i was explaining with this trick where you may lay the bottom the enemies are going to wait for the second sound cue and then they are going to pre-fire so one two sound cue they're going to pre-fire or just meleeing a barricade normally they wait for the third one one two and then when it gets to the third one they're gonna know oh that was a mistake i mean uh, three hits they expect it so i guess doing this does work because it takes one two and then other defender they're gonna wait for the third one to pre-fire but still that point stands of why you shouldn't do that because this sound that's a barricade uh, parts being broken but this is the full barricade being broken so either way they're gonna know the barricade has been broken whereas if you were to do this or if you do it right I should say when you do it right, they'll hear one, two, because it takes three melees to destroy a barricade. So they're going to wait for the third one. But if you just hit two and you're somehow already in, you could get them by surprise. So let's say they're here. They hear the first one. One, two. They're going to wait for the third one. But if you just hit it twice and you swing in, they're, you're going to take them by surprise. One, two, they're going to wait for the third one, but you just swing in. Or like I was saying with the other one, it is still a no-go. Because it has the sound cue of the barricade breaking. There's so many times where, you know, I'm trying to sneak in. I do this. One, two. You do it right. It, it, it is hard to master. There's so many times where I create this and then I'm droning. I go to sneak in. And what do, I have a teammate that does this. Oh, let's go. No. I, I made that hole for a reason. So if you are playing your matches and you ever see a barricade broken like this, you can crouch walk. No sound. Rather than having the sound cue of the barricade breaking. And, you know, swinging in. There are obviously more tricks you can do with a single barricade than a double barricade. There's nothing too special. Obviously, the only special thing is that you can uh, do the same. If I can actually do it right. This is the only trick you can do on a double door. With this, you can uh, crouch walk through. You can melee once, vault. You can hit the corner twice. And then it be voltable. This is all you can do with a double barricade. So, just to kind of go over, you could be ash rushing just quickly. That's it. You're in the building. We're 20 seconds into the round and you're in aqua. Rather, since meleeing the barricade is a lot quieter than that, 
So understanding the sound as well. The sound cue for meleeing it. Let's say the distance is here. They could hear the, because I don't know the actual distance, but this is how the sound works. You could be here and the sound cue for the barricade fully breaking can be heard here. But the barricade hits could not be heard here. Obviously, it, it isn't this distance because you could hear it break. Probably, you know, just further back there. But what I'm trying to say is since the barricade hit is quieter than the full thing breaking, mailing it twice, the distance will uh, sh travel shorter rather than destroying the whole barricade and then rushing. Because if you were to destroy the whole barricade, the people standing around here would be alarmed. Rather than if you were to only do the two barricades hits and crouch walk, the person here will not be alarmed. And then just to quickly finish off the video to prove that it takes 10 panels. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 panels no matter the barricade and those are just you know the pretty standard things about the barricades so this video is everything you needed to know about barricades understanding how they work so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye